Welcome to my quick guide on how to do Zon and Blume in the Desert Fog DLC of Unity Command 2. I'm Sumster Games. This is the place where you can find new strategy games. And this is just going to be a quick guide on the map. We're going to show it to you. If you watched any of my previous guides, this would be akin to the tactics window. But if you're looking for more details, I'll have that as well. But let's just go through it immediately. So the first thing you want to do is you want to move your units around here so that you can out of supply Mersa El Brega. Now, once you're out of supply, then you should be able to take over within turn four or five. I recommend doing it on turn four simply because you're going to get these reinforcements up here on turn four and they have a range to get towards Mersa El Brega to do some damage. So you want to utilize that and then you want to push your supply hubs and your HQs forward so that you can get better supply in this area because the name of the game in this scenario is really supply. The question is how will you supply your units? Now once you take over Mersa, Mersa El Brega you just want to move towards Agadabia. This is pretty straightforward as there's no one defending it which means that you can utilize this to resupply some of your units. So some of your units when they move to here or in this general area they will not have supply so you can take over these supply hubs and resupply them so just make sure that the units are close enough there to be able to get it. Once you have both Mersa Albrega and Agadabia, which should be around like turn five or something like that. So we have both of these. The furthest you can play your supply hub will be somewhere here. Like this is the furthest hex where you can place it. And that's kind of like the main problem for the map. The way to fix this is that you need to get Benghazi. Once you get Benghazi and Sus, you will be able to place supply hub around here, which will be a lot more helpful, but it does take a while. So the way I recommend doing it is that you want to take over Msus, so you need to take some of your motorized units that have a good range to take over Msus, and then you want to move your tank of one of or one of your motorized units up here past Barca, and this will allow you to out of supply Barca and the units in this area. Then you have some time to take over Barca. They want you to take it by turn nine. Take it a lot earlier than that, but you will have some time, and you can uh, and you should move your infantry up here near Benghazi. Mm -hmm. The whole time in this scenario, you want to make sure that you're moving your HQs to the range of your supply hub so that they can then, then provide extra range. So for example, because you can only have those supplies up here, you might be able to place your HQ, let's say, in this area, which is still within the range of the supply hub. But then if you have a tank, let's say, here, the HQ can uh, can resupply the tank to survive. But if you're going to be pushing up here next to Barca, you're probably going to need to use your one air supply. So at this point, you should have Benghazi, Masus, and out of supplying Barca. It doesn't necessarily mean that you've already out supplied it, but you should be around there. Now at this point, there are a couple things that you can do. So firstly, you would want to take control of this supply railway and move up here from the top towards Derna. If you can take control of all of that, you will be able to place supply hub anywhere here which will allow you to uh, provide really good support for your other units as you're going to be taking over Mahili, Tangeder, and Gazala. I have no clue how to say it correctly, I'm sorry. But if you think supply is for the weak, <laughs> you're definitely in the wrong game. Or you just want to be wild and do it the hard way, you can also try to not do that and push this way, which is what I did in my Let's Play. By the way, this is again just a quick guide, but if you want to see more detailed Let's Play where I walk you exactly how I've done this scenario while completing all the objectives, and I also give you tips how you can do it even better, I have a Let's Play for that. There will be a link up or down or everywhere. So you can click on it and you can check out my full let's play for this particular one. But anyways, the point is you have Mingadi, good Masus. Either you're moving from the top or you're moving through here. Moving through here is definitely quicker, but if you have at least one recon who could move from the top and take over the river, it will be much easier for your supply hubs. And then Tangeda is very simple. There's typically no one there, so you just kind of move one unit, one motorized unit down there. And then Mahili and Gazala. So Mahili is typically has some unit there, so you're going to have to do some attacks. So you need two, maybe three of your units to fight there. Uh, or you can also use this uh, flying artillery. You have two of those. So I, uh, in my run, I used one for Benghazi, one used for Mahili, but um, you can use them as you need them. And Gazala also was empty for me, a fairly straightforward moving there and get it. Timi Mimi and Gazala, one or both of those tends to be empty. So if you didn't do the dare nothing and you did it my way where you moved this way, which again is not how I would recommend it, but you can do it still. You uh, can use this to resupply your unit. So again, have one unit move in and other units that's nearby. So the resupply will sort of reach them both. And uh, you should be able to take over... Uh, 
Mihili by turn 9 or on turn 9. And Gazala, you have to turn 10 for Gazala, but Gazala is not difficult, so you should be able to take it on turn 9 as well. Now, like I said, if you want more details, you can watch my playthrough of this and also let me know in the comments if you prefer this being in two separate things where you can just watch the tactics window and a separate video is for the actual let's play because it does allow me to to make the other video a bit more let's play oriented instead of guide oriented or if you preferred it when it was combined or if you prefer the history mode in the let's play as we used to do for previous DLCs. Write it all down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch the longer let's play or the next uh, scenario. See you there. Bye bye.